Hi guys, welcome to Adam at Collar TV. So Manchester United's next game is against Fener Barchi in the Europa League at Old Trafford. Now, whenever I think of Manchester United versus Fener Barchi, I think of Wayne Rooney's hat-trick against them on his debut at Old Trafford. But of course, now when I think of Fener Barchi, I think of Robin van Persie because that's where the Dutch striker is plying his trade out in Turkey. Now, things may not have gone great for him there. Things may not have gone to plan since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement. But Robin van Persie is a player that I will always love. Um, even before he came to Manchester United, I was a big, big fan of his. Um, and when he came to United, it was a dream signing. And to see that work so perfectly in his first season and him catapult us to the Premier League was a beautiful, beautiful thing. I think the departure of Sir Alex Ferguson affected him more than anybody. I think he was set for two or three years under Sir Alex. He wanted to challenge for the Champions League next. He wanted to get his Premier League trophy, which he got. And obviously things didn't go to plan for him. And we've heard former players, Rio Ferdinand, etc. speak about how he was affected by that. But still, I love that guy, Robin, and he made it not 19 forever, didn't he? With them goals against Villa, with that goal, them goals that season um, in 2012-13, a season that was Sir Alex Ferguson's last one, he will always be remembered very, very fondly, especially by me. Moving on from that, though, and Manchester United coming to this game, it's a game that we have to win, really, especially after the performance against Liverpool. While the result was, you know, you can take that, but if we're going to play like that against Liverpool, at home against Fenerbahce, you have to play a different kind of game. You have to open up a little bit more. You have to try and get two or three goals now. That's why I was so relaxed against against Liverpool. Because whilst, you know, I don't want to see teams do that really. Although I understand the tactics and I know why we did them and we got the better result out of it. And fair play to Jose Mourinho. He's great at doing that. It's not what I would prefer to see. But I'm not complaining about that. If against Fenerbahce we come out and we play some attacking football and we go for goals like we should at home. And that's the thing with Jose Mourinho. If he's happy to change it up for each game, that's how you got to take it. You can't have the same tactic every single match. It just doesn't work like that. You have to change to your opponent. So I totally understand why he went there, got the draw. The game plan nearly went to plan um, perfectly. If Zlatan scores that goal and it's 1-0. So on another day, we could have got three points. On another day, we could have lost. David De Gea pulled off two world-class saves. But it was a good result. That means now, against Chelsea and Fenerbahce, we have to make it count. We have to show that the reason we took that draw there was to build confidence and build that unbeaten run. We're five or six games now unbeaten, I think. So we need to keep that going. We need to keep the runner games going where we're winning games or at least not losing. And Fenerbahce and Chelsea this week, again... It's a big week this week. We've got a decent result at Anfield. Now let's get two wins here. And Fenerbahce is a place, is a team I think we can beat. Obviously, they've got the obvious threat of Robin Van Persie. They haven't been doing too well in the Turkish league. They're sitting ninth at the moment, mid-table. They've got, I think it's nine points in the seven games that they've played. So they haven't been doing amazingly well, but they are unbeaten in five or six games now since their defeat against Bursaspor in, I think it was September or October. Uh, well, we're in October. I think it was in September. So, um, yeah, Fenerbahce will come. and They'll be well organised. They'll play with a lot of tempo as well. And they'll be flying into challenges, I feel. So we need to be countering that. Um, obviously, Jose Mourinho today in his press conference, as I said, we will play a strong team. He will play a strong lineup. I still expect to see a few changes. And I still want to see a few changes. But he will start... A strong team. He's also said Luke Shaw will come back into the starting lineup, and he mentioned Mickey Terry and, and Martial are ready now as well. So it's looking good on that front. We've got a strong squad now. We need to get that competition for places going. We need to get those players that have been on the fringes game time and playing so that when it comes to these big Premier League games like Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, we've got 17 18 players in good form, ready to go, ready to play. And that competition for places will spice things up as the season goes along. Um, the team that I would play in this game is 
as follows. David De Gea in goal, Timothy Foles who meant to at right back. I thought Antonio Valencia was excellent against Liverpool and I'd give him a rest ahead of the game against Chelsea. Then I'd go with Smalling and Blind in the centre of defence. Same thing with Eric Bailly. I'd give him a rest ahead of Chelsea. He's going to have his hands full. Um, Luke Shaw at left back. Then I'd go with Fellaini and Carrick in the middle too with Mickey T, Mata, Lingard in behind. Wayne Rooney up top. Jose has has commented that he could start this game and I wouldn't be surprised to see Wayne Rooney start up top in his in his natural position. Um, obviously, he's chopped and changed number 10, number 6, number 8. Jose said he's going to be a striker and as I said at the top of the video, he's got great memories of playing against Fenerbahce and maybe, maybe that could just get a little fire going in his belly and get him going again. And imagine another hat-trick from Wayne Rooney against Fenerbahce. It would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Um, but still, this game, um, I think we'll win. I don't think it will be 6-2 or 5-2 or whatever it was last time we played them at Old Trafford. But I do think we'll win. And I think it will be 2-0 to Manchester United. I wouldn't mind if we were like 4-0 up and Robin Van Persie scored. I hope he gets a great ovation. I hope he gets a great reception. I hope to hear... Oh, Robin Van Persie all night because he deserves it. We never got to say goodbye to him properly um, when he left. And for that season alone in 2012, 2013, he needs to know how much we love him. So, guys, please, if you're at the game, just sing that song. I will be at the back of the Stretford end. Anyway, I've been Adam McCullough. This has been Adam McCullough TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll have a review after the game tomorrow. FIFA Fridays also begins on Friday as well, as you would have guessed. Um, and we're going with the career mode, as you guys have asked for. So more and more content coming your way very soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share. I'll see you later.